So I said to him, I'm like, Kai's the man. Now you can't pay me enough to take Kai away from Oh, hey, ho. Oh, what's, how's it going? Uh, how's it going, everybody? Hey. Welcome to Thursday Live Lesson. My name is Aldrin Guerrero, joined by Aaron the Voice Nakamura. What's up, Aaron? What's up? And Kai the Legend Fergus. What's up, Kai? I, I don't think you said that right. Oh. You said I you can't <laughs> pay me enough to take the high away. Yeah, because so, I want we wanna we wanna keep you on, on the team. Like, uh, doesn't that mean like that they like They couldn't give me enough money I, to take you away from, from this team. You worth it, that much. I think it can also mean that like mm. you can you can't uh <laughs> You can't pay me enough to take him fast enough. Away. Like, <laughs> well, get him away. From you guys me. don't know. Kai just 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 got a new job at some fancy schmancy tech place, and it's like, oh, okay, fine then. I guess go play with those guys, Mister. I I don't want to say what it is, but it it rides with Schmoogle. <laughs> <laughs> Kai, sorry, then, Mister Guy. Uh, you can say the 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 name. It's Boogle. <laughs> 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 it's, it's goggles. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, welcome to Thursday Live Lessons. What happens here at Thursday Live Lessons? We answer any and all of your questions. So sometimes we get some uh, emails, sometimes we get some questions via UU Plus forums or any kind of form of uh, any way that you guys can get us your questions. We'll try to answer them as best as we can. We are live, so we do have a live chat. So if you want to ask us your questions in the chat, we can answer those questions as well. So, Kahai, um, lay it on me, man. How's, how's the mailbag this week? A little, little week this, this week? Uh yeah, but we actually had like a, a couple people mm-hmm. post um to their not student review. What is it called? Mm-hmm. Like practice logs. Yeah, practice stuff? logs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, um, I, I saw I saw quite a bunch, and I I, uh, I replied to a couple of them and stuff. And they're 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 all doing really good. And, you know, some uh I think someone that I that I replied to like just joined. Like they're from Korea, but or, or something like that. Pretty mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, I, th- I think both of them are fairly new members, mm-hmm. but yeah, that's just a that's a cool way too. If you guys yeah. want us to check out your your things and give you feedback, yes. you can do it there. Yeah, too. yeah. So, yeah. so um, and actually, good news. Like, uh, Kahai, tell us about uh, tell us about our, our very special friend and member who's um, you know who's decided to create an album. Uh, so Kahai knows the story better than I do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry. You have I'm, the floor, buddy. <laughs> I'm getting stuff set up, so uh, let, I don't mm. want to get his mm. name wrong. So yeah. let me uh, find it first. Mm. Uh, where is it? I'm so. Uh, I'm so <laughs> oh, not, not oh. totally not pre uh, Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, I mean, what would Schmoogle say? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I think he, I, I think his name is Ian. Okay. Uh, Ian okay. Patterson. Yeah. And he said that he uh, uh, he like saw our YouTube videos, and then he even like I think checked you guys out at mm. Denver a few years ago. Okay. And uh, he's been listening to the podcast for a while. Yeah. And, and he started to perform, and then like he started to gain like more traction, and nice, started to nice. do a lot I of more that. shows and oh, stuff. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, and then he was asked to go to a singer songwriter uh, event. Uh, but he he said like that he's more of or he he up to that point he's been playing like covers and doing other stuff mm-hmm. so he didn't write uh songs yeah so what he did was he took all our song challenges uh Just took like all the, the parameters yeah. yeah that we set out mm-hmm. for the challenges yeah and then he like wrote them all down and then he he set it out a day where he just like wrote songs for all of those challenges nice, nice. And then uh, I think he went back in mm-hmm. and like re-recorded, mm-hmm. and he added a couple more songs. Mm-hmm. But then from that, he used that for his like uh, festival, the songwriting festival or mm-hmm. songwriting event. Mm-hmm. And then he also turned that into like a full album yeah. too. So I, I just Pretty thought that cool. was like really cool, mm-hmm. yeah. And he says he's gonna like go on, uh, do more shows, and do mm-hmm. more things. So mm-hmm. it's it sounds like. That's yeah, cool. it's like really cool what he did. Yeah, yeah just like, that is awesome. Yeah, it, I, I yeah. listened to a couple of the songs, yeah. and it's like, that's like your first attempt at, <laughs> at songwriting. Like that's amazing, you know? Yeah, I mean, they should. Uh, I, 
I don't know why they don't submit to you know like to the uh, to the after challenge stuff so they can win like you know like a nice little prize. But whatever, I, I get it. You know, I get yeah, it. No, but but it seems think, like he's he he did this after the fact. Oh, so he, he just, went. I want to say he rect- uh, retroactively went. went yeah, back he and, went like, back like, and he, he did found, like yeah. all the cha- mm-hmm. like he wrote down all the challenges yeah. at once and then did all of them at once too. Yeah, um, yeah. and he's nice. also like. I think he's he might not be a U plus member mm-hmm. and he's just a listener of the podcast. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. So, oh, right like, on. Even hey, that, shout out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. So uh did he give you any information where we can find his music? So uh, for those people that you know want to are interested in listening? Uh yeah, he gave us a, a SoundCloud link to to the album and yeah. we'll we'll like put it in the show notes and then yeah. I'll throw it in the the chat right now yeah. too. So, and for all of you out. folks out there who are listening and you know you guys are uh putting an independent release or whatever release it releases some music you guys want to you know um you want us to tell people about it like so let us know like send it uh send it over to us send us a link to uh to your spotify or wherever and stuff and we'll we'll definitely tell people we just you know we want to be able to share and i think we do the same thing on a little friday live jam if you guys have an event or anything like that mm-hmm. like we just we we want to share it out you know with with the world and, and such so it's, it's awesome so if you guys have anything like that or if you're part of like an ukulele festival that you know want you want us to uh, to tell people about it, mm-hmm. like or a definitely club. or a club yeah, or anything, yeah, you, you guys need more people it. for your club. Yeah. If you guys want to promote anything, it costs nothing. We just, you know, we yeah. just want to let people know. We just want yeah, to spread. Just email us yeah. so that we know beforehand, and we can yeah, put yeah, yeah. something on the screen. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and if you, like, or if you can email us, if it's an event, email us a flyer or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we'll we can post it. Yeah. yeah, and uh, we'll, you know, we'll uh, promote it here. We can promote it on Low Friday Jam wherever you guys want to. It really, it's just, uh, you know, we have this platform. We might as well use it to help out, you know, as many people who are kind of up and coming, or if there's a like an ukulele gathering or anything like that. We want to promote all those things. Yeah. yeah. There's like I, I was also thinking because another one of our actual members uh, contacted me and then he mm-hmm. asked about like he asked where can I find the first song challenge because mm-hmm. I've decided to like even though he's like been listening mm-hmm. uh, it's John Holland like he's like okay, an active yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. Yeah. listener to the podcast and he he always emails us and mm-hmm. he's a super cool member yeah. But uh, he said, like, even though I've been listening, I haven't tried any of the song challenges. Mm. So I want to, like, go back and try the first mm. one. So I've been thinking, like, and it seems like there are, like, some people who are finding them and then being like, oh, like, should I go back and find do mm-hmm. the old ones mm. or what? Mm-hmm. Like, what is it? So I was thinking about making, like, a, a thread in the forum, like a mega thread. Yeah. Where it's just, like, all oh, the challenges. All the challenges that mm-hmm. and, Yeah. And I, I wasn't sure if, like, maybe you should do, like, just keep adding to it. So, like... Mm-hmm. If people want to see everybody's yeah. submissions and everything, it's like just one place. Yeah. yeah, I like that people are trying them out, regardless, you know, what the date was or whatever. You know, if they're gonna win anything, it's awesome. I love that. It's kind of the whole point of uh, of doing these. So uh, putting them in in one thread where somebody can just find like all like every single one of them and can try out whichever one they want. That's really cool because we want to hear more songs from people, and we've been hearing some really cool and crazy and funny and and exciting kind of songs. So we're stoked. Yeah, even like uh, the people who did the last challenge yeah. that like will will give the prize to right, mm-hmm. or they they have the chance to win mm-hmm. the prize. Mm-hmm. Like we had uh, a couple of people, Kavai mm-hmm. and Kevin, yeah, who have done the challenge before. But mm-hmm. I think like the other three people haven't like they they said that this was their first time trying yeah. it too. Oh, nice, so, nice, yeah, nice, nice. It, yeah, it, I love it, that does seem like people are giving it a try so it's mm-hmm. really cool yeah i mean just you know just try it out i mean just just make anything like it, if uh what was the parameters we had fd minor b flat c so you just like if you just play those chords and stuff and maybe like just add one little thing here and there that pretty much counts as you know counts <laughs> yeah. as a song if, if you do that so if, yeah uh, for example if you do an fd minor b flat c you know so you can just make basically i'm just playing the f d minor b flat and c and i'm just like adding whatever notes from the scale you know like um with with whatever hand is free which is my ring finger and pinky finger bam that counts as a song bam i get into uh kahai's wheel over there and i can maybe win an awesome signed sf summer uke fest (laughs) songbook you know like or um kahai actually got more stuff for the winner right kahai what'd you get uh, you can show them uh, that box right there. So I, I guess you're gonna have all kinds. Yeah, of stuff. okay. So now, 
some incentives for so that you guys can try it for next time. We didn't time. even give Kahai money for this. I know! Kahai spent his own money! He spent his own <laughs> money. He get coconut caramel uh, crunch. <laughs> coffee. That's that's like my favorite so, coffee. One of my favorite coffees. Butter jalapeno macadamia nut cookies. Yeah, I like kawaii. all those words. So that, that's Kawaii coffee and yeah. Kawaii cookies. Kawaii yeah. coffee, Kawaii cookies. Butter jalapeno macadamia nuts. <laughs> Hot dang! And uh, what is what is this? Is it like a, a cup? Uh, you can uh, unroll it. I I just put it there so I don't forget to ship out. Oh, it's the... uh Lilikoi jelly. Let's just yeah. say it's Lilikoi jelly. I don't wanna um, I don't wanna un unwrap it. So, but it's basically Lilikoi jelly, passion fruit for all of you folks. You know who uh who don't know what Lilikoi is, but um yeah, passion fruit jelly. It's like a Hawaii thing. So this plus the some uh summer youth fest signed. Songbook, yeah, plus Hot that bag, dang, right you know, <laughs> plus the bag because jeez, there's yeah. so much stuff. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to up it up next uh, next month. <laughs> so we'll, well see, we'll see, yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so how about uh, with that, let's just segue into uh, announcing our winner. How about we do that? So Kahai mentioned, you know, like uh, we have Kavai and Kevin that usually like enters and stuff, but we have three new people that entered. Um, <laughs> This uh, this time, so we have these five new challenger, awesome. Yeah, here comes a new challenger. <laughs> five awesome folks that um, you know, they'll get a chance to win this awesome prize pack. Okay, so let's go, Kahai, and spin that wheel. Ooh, Kavai. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. So Kavai gets it. Kavai gets a summer uh, SF Summer Yuke Fest uh, signed. Songbook, he gets all the treats from Kahai, he gets the bag that goes with it. So congratulations, Kavai. Uh, hey. I actually saw his um his, his video. Yeah, because yeah. he, he did two different it, ones, right? Yeah, he posted it on Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. I think so, but he also posted it on I, I think I saw it on, yeah. the, on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh cool. it was it was that it was with his daughter and stuff. It was really cool. Uh -huh. So I, I love the song. Oh, wow. Um yeah, well did, deserved. Good job, Kavai. Did you see the one that he posted where he's playing the suitcase drum? Well, yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to comment back at him and say like, "Dang it, that seems like an instrument that me and Aaron <laughs> would like. Yeah. We would get <laughs> <Yeah>. ourselves. <laughs> Did like, he build that? Or? I don't know. Mm. Yeah. That that just it was like a drum built drum, yeah. into a suitcase, <laughs> and it had like a kick. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. It was pretty it, cool. So he could play it while he was playing his ukulele. Yeah, and he wrote about actual cheese. So yeah. right on. Yeah, good job, yeah. Kavai. Uh, that, everyone did an did an amazing job and stuff. Yeah. So anyone, it could have it could have gone to anyone and would have been stoked. That that that's what I wanted to mention too is yeah. that uh, Kavai and Annie did mm. songs first. Yeah, and I, like I did reply back to them. I was like, it's amazing that you guys wrote about cheese. Like you guys yeah. both use cheese in your songs. <laughs> yeah, because when Aaron said that, I was like. Well, I guess that's one requirement I'm not going to do. <laughs> like, that's one I'm going to skip. But then the cool thing, too, is that, um, well, like, Mike wrote yeah. a really cool song about, like, leaving home. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then... Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, that was one that, of the yeah. bonus things. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Kevin and Joe both also wrote songs about cheese. cheese. So you guys are, like, really yeah, killing good it. Good stuff. Oh, wow. Good stuff, everybody. Hey, congratulations, <laughs> everyone. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, cool. So, so maybe the weirdness of the bonuses like contributed to more people. Yeah, to let's, do let's do more of that because we're gonna we're gonna do another challenge that was, today. So that but, was kind of yeah off the wall. <laughs> Before we get to our next challenge, Kai, have you submitted your homework today? Uh, yeah. Let me let me just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Kai uh, didn't get to um get to didn't get to show us his uh, his song last week because his dog ate his homework. So this week. His dog coughed it back up, and uh, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna the get to the whole USB drive just came flying <laughs> out of my dog's mouth. Like amazing, <laughs> hacked it up there. Yeah. Uh, All right, nice. So, what is this called? Uh, is this song called Gouda, Age Gouda. I don't know. I'm like, because it's so Gouda. Uh, <laughs> cheesy home. So I can say, I did is that too dad joke? <laughs> That's super dad joke. Yeah. Uh, okay.
for the false ending. <laughs> <laughs>
I want more people to try it. So let's, uh, cause this is a four chord, you know, four chord challenge that we, uh, that we did on this last one. Let's do a two chord song. So nice and easy two chord song. And, um, it's going to be your choice of which two chords, but I'm just going to give you a key and, uh, you can choose whatever two chords that you want from that key. Okay. So uh, give me some suggestions on the key. Give me some suggestions on um, what you guys want the bonuses to be. So let's wait. Uh, let's are we gonna keep up. it as only two chords? Yes, that's part of the challenge. It's part of the challenge to keep okay. it two chords. Two chords, just two. Only two. Yeah, right. two. This the the challenge is to keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the if, that's challenge. What if uh, we make that like the bonus challenge? Like mm. the bare requirements is you gotta use at least two, mm. and you can use whatever else if mm. you want. But then. If you want a you know bonus like yeah. it, it, it you stick to just two yeah mm, and we'll okay. try to do the yeah do okay yeah we'll just try to do us. just the two yeah. okay okay cool 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 that sounds good okay uh, uh what key anyone uh, anyone want to suggest a key because we did uh, f we did g then we did c i think we did a also yeah uh why don't we uh like uh while we're waiting for the mm -hmm. chat to catch up with yeah. us why don't we write out the some of the bonuses first okay yeah. okay 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 so bonus <laughs> bonus only two chords only two chords yeah that's actually kind of hard to do yeah to write mm -hmm. a whole song with only two chords only two chords oh but like i mean you can like a substitution like a minor substitution really <laughs> it, it's the same chord guys already like trying yeah, to like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wait, what's, to get is around it three the chords really <laughs> <laughs> that's also what i wanted to do yeah. for the last challenge mm. uh i was thinking about making so it's like a super easy mm. or like doing the f d minor mm. b flat c yeah and then from there like each iteration mm -hmm. of it would just be a substitution a chord substitution yeah, getting yeah. more and more weird because mm -hmm. i remember when mike was here and we were talking about it i was like that's pretty much what i do for every song writing yeah. challenge <laughs> it's like i just do a really basic chord pattern and then i substitute it with like things that like sound more complex. yeah well the thing with this challenge is once you decide on which two chords you're gonna do that's it like you're just <laughs> limited to those two it's yeah, actually yeah. pretty hard like yeah. it's not it's not as uh, as, as easy but kinda, it, so. it's easy if you want to just write like a you know like a simple song that is just two chords and stuff i mean like uh, there's a lot of great songs that only have two chords in it you know don't don't get me wrong and whatnot but it's really difficult to uh to to write a two chord song so when you like when you listen to yeah. simple songs too that yeah. probably sound like they only have two chords they probably also mm -hmm. have like little transition chords in between two. Though, yeah, right? like, so I mean to uh, spice it up, so it kind of is like pretty difficult. To we do. play um, what you call uh, "Melt with You," which is a two chord song, and it's a, like a really nice two chord song, and it gets like the point across and stuff. But it's it's simple, but it, it's like super effective. Um, one of the uh, well, let's just keep you know keep writing this out, and I'll show you guys like an example of how you can take a four chord song and turn it into a two chord song. We uh, okay, so yeah. uh, two two of the suggestions are D minor and E minor, but we already did like D minor is the same as F basically. Mm -hmm. Um, so and I don't know if you want to do E minor. That's like basically C. E, uh, well, E minor would be G. basically G. Oh, G, G. Sorry. And D minor is basically F. So what we can do is uh, go to C. So you can have both D minor and E minor if you want to have, you know, if you want to do it that way. And um, yeah, we'll just keep in the key of C. So keep like, uh, we'll, we'll keep the key simple. You can choose any two chords from the key of C. But once you make that decision, that's it for, for the bonus. You don't have to do it that way. You can make whatever song you want in C. Um, yeah. Let's let's do it like that. So key of C. And I'll write down yeah, C D minor E minor F G A minor B diminished. So those are your chords that you can play in C or you can choose from in C. So the bonuses are only two chords. Of course we have the lyrics bonus. Lyrics are not like uh, are not required, but lyrics are awesome. Uh, subject. Let's give a subject to. Uh, 
we can we can get get a subject from the audience but uh lisa also mentioned uh maybe as a bonus mm-hmm. or i'm guessing she's saying as a bonus uh maybe three four time we haven't done that yeah in a while. okay mm-hmm. three four time who's who said that uh lisa mm-hmm. yes three four time Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? We should. So yeah, subject, subject, we subject. So we did leaving home. We did leaving home. We did love, uh, uh, love and heartbreak. And heartbreak, what, yeah. Uh, leaving home. Let's do coming back to home. <laughs> no, that's too close. Too close to. Uh, too close to the last one. We want to make it completely different this yeah. time. Uh, um. Well, like uh, let's do. Er- Let's do animals. Since we talked about your dog eating your uh, your <laughs> okay, homework, okay. and now let's do animals. And that's like pretty broad, you know. You uh-huh. can talk about like whatever. You can talk oh, about so any animal. Or... Any any animal, as long as the song has something to do with an animal. Okay. How about oh, yeah, animal. Uh, animals. Uh, how about, can it be uh... about animal from the Muppets? <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> let let your imagination fly. Can it can it be about? Keep, the keep, band, the animals. <laughs> keep that to uh, keep keep that for yourself, Aaron. Like, don't you want to use that for yourself? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you, wanna, you don't want to take all the ideas. <laughs> what, if, uh, what if that's like uh, you know how like we had cheese like yeah. include reference yeah. to cheese. So how about that is like include a reference to animals? Yes, yes. And then because um, like uh, I, I Lao Gao had like a pretty good subject idea too. Like uh, he said, end of summer. Mm-hmm. So, and uh, so a lot of people are saying end of summer is great. Uh, back to school. So yeah. reference to animal from the Muppets <laughs> down there. Okay, end of summer is another subject. Uh, there's two M's in summer, Altrine. <laughs> Sumer. Hey. Yeah, there it is. I haven't written on a uh, yearbook in a while. <laughs> yeah, have a great Sumerian region. <laughs> See you next quarter. <laughs> have a great summer. All right, so here it is. Uh, key of C. You can um, you know, you can basically write whatever you want in this key. It's oh, yeah. super open. You can write whatever two chords, three chords, four chords. But if you really want to challenge yourself, the bonus is using only two chords. Um, if you want bonus is lyrics, it can be about the end of summer. It can be about animals. You can have uh, reference to actual animal from the Muppets and uh, three four time. Yeah. So right on with a three four time. Cool. This is awesome. This is like this is a fun. This is gonna be a fun challenge. Because yeah. I mean, uh, I figured a lot of people have like, um, you know, feel love and connection, and you know, whenever they go home to their animals, like they. Kind of have that feeling of like oh yeah, that, yeah. You know, so that, that would be like, like a really, yeah like i'm just trying to combine subject. like all yeah. that you know all that stuff too or you can uh talk about like i don't know like being a mailman and being chased by a dog or something like it could it could be anything this is pretty uh yeah yeah well, pretty like, general. Yeah. that even that that's like the yeah. bonus uh mm. challenge right is to mm. make it a reference to an animal or something yeah but then, like, the base requirements is just to use two chords, you know, mm-hmm. and you can even use more than that. Yeah. But, like, that's it. Like, you can just mm-hmm. do a really basic song yeah. in C and then we'll, we'll count it as Yeah, yeah, we'll count, it as, uh, we'll count it as one. So that's the new challenge for uh, for this time. This will be challenge number, what, 12? Yeah. Challenge number 12 will be uh, key of C, uh, bonus only two chords, lyrics three, four time, animals being the subject, end of summer being the subject, reference to animal from the Muppets. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, end of summer is a good one too. You know, it's like, it's mm-hmm. it's appropriate. It's time appropriate. It is the end of summer. Um, I feel like this summer is just never ending. It's just so hot and <laughs> just gets hotter and hotter and hotter yeah. here in Hawaii. And it's, it's getting kind of irritating actually like how hot it is. Like, when is it going to get cold again? When is it going to get cold? I've been waiting. Kahai, when? Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Can you do something about this, please? I- I'm just gonna go visit my sister where it's colder. <laughs> oh, <it's not> <laughs> That's what I do. So, <laughs> all right, um, yeah. Well, you know, send send some of that cold weather back. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, if, uh, least... I don't ask for anything ever, but if you could bring back some of that uh, some of that weather, that'd be great. <laughs> uh, Lisa asked, "How long do we have?" Um, three weeks. Yeah. Three weeks. So, so three weeks from today. 
That's mm-hmm. uh, the 19th. Yes. And uh, actually, four weeks. So ours is due in three weeks. Or ours is due in two weeks. We usually do two weeks and then we okay, give them okay, three yeah. weeks. Ours but... is doing two weeks. You guys want to do in three weeks. You guys yeah. is. <laughs> use guys. Use guys. <laughs> use guys. Is... We, we, we try to keep to that, right? But then yeah. sometimes it's just like. Sometimes, uh, you know yeah. what? Life happens. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes your dog eats your micro SD card. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to give them, because uh, we, we kind of teased in the last live lesson mm. that you said uh, you'll give Kololo Mix? Oh, yeah, that's right. One? I'll give Kololo Mix to, um, <laughs> for the, yeah, for the, for the, for the prize. For this one, yeah. I'll, um, yeah, I'll give Kololo Mix. I'll give Kololo Mix. Mm. Uh, what is Kololo? It's basically taro, coconuts, sugar. and sugar. <laughs> yeah. It's a dessert. It's a dessert. I can... Like uh, I could get a uh, jalapeno mix too, so give them okay. both, let them try. No, we'll we'll see that for the for the next one. So this time it's cool <laughs> mix. The next time is like jalapeno mix. Yeah, yeah jalapeno. So if you want, if you yeah. want the full taste, you yes. gotta win both the times. Full taste of Hawaii. Yeah, I know. What if someone does? What if someone gets both of them? <laughs> it could happen. Yeah, it yeah. could happen. Kavai could win it three times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The wheel decides. Yeah, see? <laughs> Only you can prevent Kavai from winning. <laughs> from winning three times in a row. <laughs> Enter now. <laughs> Enter now. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> oh, it could be like the same, you know, the same people joining and who, you know, we, we know that, that the wheels landed in the same thing, the same place many, many, many times before. <laughs> yeah. Not not by choice. Not yeah. by, no. This is out of our control. We're talking about you, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hot dang. That, that suck. <laughs> that's so no, difficult. We, we still have it on the wheel. Like, yeah. after that, that yeah. two weeks, I left it there. You know, so you have to have, you have to have traps. Like, you know, it can't just be all cushion rooms, you know, like in this labyrinth. Uh, you, have have yeah, the, yeah. you have to have the one room with the minotaur in it. Like, <laughs> you knock on that door. It's like, oh, no, minotaur. It was a, uh, you, uh, during the, the jam, right, uh, we did that mm-hmm. giveaway and we had Justin, mm-hmm. like, Justin, we actually know oh, yeah. the person. That was that close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're hitting to Justin. It was funny because I don't think he watched the live. He watched the le- replay. Oh, yeah. But then he sent me a text afterwards. And he's like, oh, my gosh. I was cracking up when it almost <laughs> landed on me. <laughs> so excited. Uh, like, oh. Nice, nice. All right. Uh, let's go to the chat. Does uh, anyone in the chat have any uh, ukulele questions and stuff that we can talk about today? Uh uh, Joe asked okay. for the challenge. Yes. Uh, does chord inversion still count as one chord? Yes. Yes. Yeah. If I say yes. Chord. If it's the same chord, yeah. Then you're more yeah. than fine. Like so C, 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 C. You can have any one of those mm-hmm. that, you, that you want. So yeah. So answer is yes. <laughs> it's the same three notes. Yeah. That's yeah. a good workaround for if yeah. you want to kind of. Yeah. 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 There you go. So here's there's some hints and ideas you know that you can do with a uh, with this challenge. Yeah, er- earlier you said that uh, you you could demonstrate how to take a four. Oh yes, song. yes, yes. So, um, so, oh. <laughs> so something like uh, I like I like to use the example of uh, uh, Breezen. So when we play Breezen, is C major seven. So C major seven to the A minor, a minor. to the D minor, to the G seven or G whichever you know whichever one you. you do mm-hmm. all right so that's four for uh for this those are those are four chords of four you know different chords um we can already kind of consolidate the c major seven to the a minor to just one chord so it goes one two three four uh so one two three four so for that one measure you have the two chords but what you can do is you can just go to a c or you can go to c major seven it'll kind of count as uh, as, as that with the a minor um because it's the same like relative chord so instead of going you can just go you can skip that chord because you're basically in the same you know in the same place right so here's with the d minor to the g7 so the d minor g7 is a little bit harder because it's not the same um, it, it, it's not related to to each other. So like G and D minor are not uh, minor or major relatives. But what I like to do 
is uh, use a D minor 7. So what a D minor 7 does is it gives me these notes. A, D, F, C. Okay, that's my G, uh, D minor 7 chord. Now my G7 chord gives me G, D, F, and B. And uh, with this G, um, with this G7, sometimes we do kind of a sus4, which would be this. So the sus, uh, the four is in G, one, two, three, four. That one. So if you do a G7 sus4, you get this. So if we were to kind of just plug in that sus4 there as a um, as a substitution, it would sound like this. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the D minor. Exactly, seven D minor already. seven. So just like how we uh, we did just a C major seven on a uh, on one uh, on one measure, we can just keep this D minor and then hit the uh, D minor seven on the second half of that measure. So um, Aaron, can you can you play? Oh yeah, can you play one measure? So instead of going, so just do C. Still, you know, still kind of works. So those like substitutions, and then voila, if if my background player is kind of doing that, then me as a lead person can add those, uh, you know, can add those chords. So here I have D minor seven, but the inversion, I'm gonna add this nice little um, what is that? Uh, B because when um when you're playing G seven, the only thing that is kind of missing is that B. So Aaron's playing that C. From that D minor seven, but I'm gonna play the D minor seven and lower that by a half step to a B, which then gives me that G seven. So it's kind of like uh, oh. tricking the uh, you know tricking the so, ear. Yeah. So yeah. even for this song challenge, like thinking about the song challenge, you could yeah. play two different, two like yeah. just keep it to two chords, mm -hmm. but. If you use your melody line yep. yes, yes. correctly, you to, could to add the note add that you need mm -hmm. more chords. Yeah. Like in concept yes in, in, yeah in so uh whatever chord is missing from uh from that major to make it a minor you can add that to your melody line and like get it a minor it up yeah, so, ah, yeah. that, that yeah. makes sense <laughs> so, so for you example could, you could sing the missing note yes or like you yes could, you yeah. could play the missing, play note, the missing note on mm -hmm. top of your mm -hmm. chord and yeah. then create a different chord yeah yeah so you can already kind of use this like use this thing to uh, to, to do that but then uh, you know, you can go even further by like kind of using this, uh, you know, using that to to add more to that chord that he's uh, that he's not yeah, or yeah. notes that he's not playing to that chord. So let's uh, let's try that together. So let's just do just do the C. So make sure you uh, you accent that you know accent that uh, that like that note so that it's like prominent. Just mm -hmm. making sure. Okay, one, two, ready, go. Kind of like Feels lets like that a, mm -hmm. like, a, G7, like a five like yeah. more more like a G seven yes then yeah. and it's not like the because the seven would technically be this F but you're already playing that F with the uh, you know with with a D minor seven right mm -hmm. so we, that's already kind of covered this is what's missing to get back into the C so if your melody line hits that uh, hits that going home note then then, it then it'll more feel like, more like it yeah 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 so. It's it's kind of cool because uh, the background doesn't you know doesn't necessarily have to decide where you're gonna go you know the melody line can kind of say hey look background we're going home now you know <laughs> like we're going home now okay this see this we're going home so that's, that's that's basically what it is so it's pretty cool you can kind of uh, you know yeah. you can use some of that as well or um, another another thing with it is to use the um like the minor substitutions and whatnot so if you want to if you want to do uh you 
you can still do C. Uh, F major. I wanted to make it a major seven, but it doesn't fit. So. Mm -hmm. still do it you know do it that way where you're doing the the major substitution so there's many 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 places you, where you can go and uh yeah can you kind of explain that one like a little bit more where, okay yeah so right. i used um c and then c major seven so basically c would you know with, with a seven on top of it same you know same chord uh, i would i would say chords and chord um what is that extensions Extension. are, are totally uh, are totally valid so if like you want to do a major seven instead you they're, know, they're they're like the same the same chord yeah they're the same chord so like i wouldn't count them as two chords c c major seven c C's, seven yeah. c okay. add anything that's another way to kind of like you know to get okay. away to get away with you know to get away with stuff so instead of c you could like uh you could maybe get a C7 and that'll get you like a third chord but it's kind of the same to get into the you know to get to the F so if it's uh because I, I count it only because should you choose not to play that C7 you can still go to the you know you can still go to the F sure it'll lead uh, it'll have a leading tone that wants to go to that four but in this case if you don't if you don't do it, it it's still it's still the same it's kind of like uh people get confused yeah. by all the extension chords mm -hmm. you know and then they ask us like oh what what's the yeah. difference and why would you do that and our explanation is always like oh just strip it away and yeah. take that first note and it's yeah. the same chord at the base it's always yeah. that same kind of like so. when i said d minor and then with the d minor seven you know substitution to it or um with the added not even a substitution you're just like you're just kind of adding that you're extending the d minor to the d minor seven to get more like a i said a g7 sus4 to want to get back to the c totally fine yeah. And then earlier, you're just using uh, F as a substitution for D minor, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah that, uh, that was the major substitution yeah. of the D minor. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. lots of cool stuff that you could uh, you can mm, actually get away yeah. with. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. kind of gives people a little some, bit more some ideas. ideas. Some ideas. Just yeah. if, stuff that if you're, around if with. If you choose to do mm -hmm. that only two chords, yeah. there, mm -hmm. there's a way to kind of get around... Yeah, because um, not necessarily only two chords, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it's a little bit more complicated than that. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. yeah. So, so it's totally doable yeah. now. Yes, you yeah. know, I know there's there's like certain songs where people argue over, or like uh, mm -hmm. music theorists yeah. will like argue over it because uh, the melody line will have one tone and then mm -hmm. the bass will have another mm -hmm. and so they're saying like what chord is it right yeah. like what it, did they mean to play uh you know a c chord or was mm -hmm. it an a minor mm -hmm. you know like mm -hmm. that kind of thing where it's like it really does um yeah. uh, well it's kind of like, at that point it's semantics but mm -hmm. for for that it's kind of fun like just to like you can hear so many possibilities mm -hmm. with even like the same chord, right? Yeah. yeah. People are playing the same thing, but it's like you can hear two different mm -hmm. kind mm -hmm. of ideas also. So yeah. 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 It was pretty cool. Um so get to it guys. Get to it. Here's the, here's the <laughs> yeah. challenge once again. So yeah. just uh and it's cool that we kept it in C because it kind of makes it easier, you know, to uh to kind of think of some workarounds, you know, the the two chord thing, two chord rule. All right, so mm -hmm. uh, lyrics, end of summer, three, four time, animals, and reference to animal from the Muppets. <laughs> this is all bonuses, the, but the, yeah, up to you. Yeah, up to you. you. Wanted... Something that might help people, right, is uh, the circle of fits mm -hmm. that we have. Because like, mm -hmm. that gives you the all chord the family, chords. exactly. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. it also, it kind of lays out the relative major and minors in mm -hmm. the chord family itself, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. uh, if you guys... Haven't checked that out. You guys might want to take a look at that. Yeah, it's around. in the reference section on mm -hmm. Ukulele Underground. Mm -hmm. So uh, someone um, actually, someone asked me, uh, it was like last week or something, like how, you know, how they can use kind of diminished chords. So like, mm -hmm. it was one of those like, hey, a dream, right? How do you, whatever. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, so after this, um, yeah. I got a kind of a cool a email too. Okay, okay, okay. But so it's not just... a question. Yeah. It's okay, just... let's do this real quick. Yeah. So it, it's really quick. Just so um, they're like, oh, how? Because so, uh, Kahai was talking about the chord family and stuff, and the the seven chord is always kind of forgotten. You know, like people are always like, okay, well, I can use C, D minor, E minor, F, G. Like that's 
it's all you know all good or a minor i guess you know along alongside that would be the six but the seven is like oh i'm kind of scared of that one so because this is part of like the challenge like b diminished and i wrote it for a reason um you can actually substitute that for you know for a five for a five seven yeah because it's um if, if you kind of look at it this way b diminished if you just take off this pointer finger here on the g string first fret those bottom three notes right there is gonna give you the tension to go down uh, back to your uh, your one chord. So this seven turning into one, and uh, and it makes sense because if you listen to the chords kind of going up, you know the uh, chord family. It wants to lead back to the one, so you can use this as a five seven that kind of has. Stank yeah. in it. <laughs> Basically, what put that stank, you know, it's that even stank. More, could, yeah, tension y. Yeah. So, like, could you play like a, like a BAP or something yeah. using that? that so, it's got a little stank yeah, in it. It's got a bluesy. So, like, instead of that's where you would normally mm -hmm. play like a G7. Yeah, so yeah. using a mm -hmm. B diminished instead of a B G, diminished. Yep. G7. So, Nice and simple. I mean, there's many, 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 you know, uses for uh, for diminished chords, but that's just kind of one that you can already kind of use off right off the bat. So if you're already using 5-1 kind of turnarounds and stuff, you can substitute your 7-1 instead of 5-1. But it has to be a diminished 7, which is what this is. That's like a... That, that's also like some, some people have kind of asked, like, mm -hmm. how do you guys like come up with the idea of using even extensions and then going further than that? Mm -hmm. And it kind of is like you you just you might notice like you you make a song where it mm. has a uh, it goes from G to C yeah G to C and it, it feels like it's always pulling back to the yeah C. then you start using G seven because mm. that feels even more like it should mm -hmm. lead mm -hmm. to C and then you can use uh, B diminished from there too so I always I always think of it as like um like different colors if you're gonna make a painting and stuff like this is like uh you know that's that chord is like this color and, and whatever you have your palette you know like in order to uh create a create a painting basically right um and using extensions is kind of like okay well i like green but this green looks better you know like mm -hmm. instead of regular green it's like forest green or mint green or whatever yeah. but it's still the same chord uh, but it's like okay well you know that sounds great and all but if i use a major seven in there it sounds it sounds even better yeah. like to you know to me it's just it's really personal preference it's more yeah. specific yeah about like, the emotion yes, that emotion. you're trying to mm -hmm. pull out of it it's yeah. kind of it's like going from a color palette of mm -hmm. like you know your basic primaries yes. to like more in-depth colors mm -hmm. and then also like some chords like leading or like chords where it's like the five seven and stuff mm -hmm. it's kind of like it's almost like a what is it complementary mm -hmm. and yeah like colors a, yeah so you can use that to like kind of push uh, yep. other yeah. chords to you know mm -hmm. move somewhere too. And I mean, <clears throat> if we're going with that same analogy and stuff, same thing with like the um, the uh, major and minor relatives and stuff. It's kind of like within that same you know um, not not color palette, but uh, say like blue and a purple. You know, like it's two different colors and stuff, but they're, they're kind of related. related. Yeah, they're related. In, in you know, way, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Or like red and orange, for example, like that kind of stuff. Where mm -hmm. like, okay, you could use an orange here instead of this red, you know? Yeah. Because like, it's like a shade of red. But same thing. We're like, okay, well, you know, it's kind of like the same scale, you know? But they're just you're starting from a different place. Yeah. So I, and, I look at it that way. So it's like kind of making a painting, basically. And it, it kind of uh, the idea of mm -hmm. kind of painting too is good because uh, the way that you should learn mm -hmm. these kinds of things is like really by like playing. Mm -hmm. And by like hearing all these different yeah, what, things and like yeah. experiencing it, and you can you can kind of learn from like either somebody telling you mm -hmm. or like from a book or reading about it, yeah. but it doesn't give you that same emotional context that like that, makes it easier to mm -hmm. draw back onto. Yeah. Like like people ask like, oh, how do you know that the you know D minor is the relative minor for mm -hmm. F major, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's like, well, I don't know. It's like you just look at the chords and they kind of feel like yeah. they. They're similar mm -hmm. and they go together too, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like they feel very close. So, yeah. yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of how I've always looked at it, you know, and um, those extensions, that's the best way I can explain, <laughs> I can explain it really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Eric, your email. Oh, yeah. So uh, I got a, an email from Alan, mm, our, nice. our very own Alan Fasik. Yeah. 
friend of the show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he he kind of just emailed me yeah. asking about um like a gig bag, guitar uh-huh. gig bag, and we got to kind of talking back and forth. And he was saying that this past weekend, um, uh, George Kahumoku yeah was in town. Oh, nice. Yeah. And so um. So like, because Alan has been learning with us for a while. Yeah. He's learned ukulele. Yeah. He's pretty proficient at mm-hmm. ukulele. And then he kind of bridged out and he started learning slack key yeah. too. So he's pretty good at slack yeah. key. Kahomoku, so, a legendary guitar player here yeah, in Hawaii. Yeah, legendary slack key yeah. player yeah. from Hawaii. And mm-hmm. then, um, and so I guess he was in town. Um, yeah. And so Alan said that he got it. He got invited to the potluck and jam the night before oh, cool. Uncle George's yeah. um, performance. Mm-hmm. And so he he you know brought his his instruments yeah. and like he he, he said drums, yeah. he said he was playing ukulele more just, mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. because Uncle George was on guitar, guitar. he played mm-hmm. played ukulele That's and cool, man. and he was like. <laughs> Uncle George was yeah. asking him like, "Oh, just so, Bonnie, yeah, no, just press, yeah." <laughs> yeah and so press. Alan was able yeah. to do that. Oh, that's and, cool. And he was able to kind of connect with him in a, in a yeah. in a way. Mm-hmm. And so there's mm-hmm. more. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there's <wait>. more. <laughs> yeah. So he said he said that he had like he had a blast. He yeah. learned a lot from him because mm-hmm. um, Uncle George was doing workshops and yeah. stuff too. And so like I guess uh, he had a good enough time that night with and made kind of a connection with yeah, him yeah. that the next day when he yeah. was uh, about to go like you know it was before his performance yeah um uncle george asked him like oh you like jam like you know before nice, before nice, he, nice, nice, yeah. he before he went on yeah. to perform he he had like a 30 minute set mm-hmm. for for um Alan the, did? the next day oh wow uncle, no uncle george, oh, george. Okay, okay, okay yeah he was he was scheduled for a 30 minute set mm-hmm. before he went on he asked Alan, "Oh, you like just jam?" Oh, and so they were jamming before cool, his man. set, yeah, yeah. and then he then um, as he got closer to his set, he, he was going over the songs that he yeah. was gonna play. Yeah, and Alan was there. Yeah, and he pulled Alan on stage, and he was on stage for his full, full oh, thirty minute set. Dude, that's so cool. So it's like that's yeah, so cool. Yeah, and so like <laughs> I was I was telling Alan like yeah. that's kind of like I mean yeah. we we. You know, just the fact that we were instrumental in kind of helping him mm-hmm. kind of get, get to this yeah. point, mm-hmm. like that, that's that feels good. the reason why yeah. we exist, that's you know, we like, do it, dude. because, um, I, and <laughs> I was kind of telling him that a lot of mm-hmm. people, when they start ukulele mm-hmm. or like they, they think, oh, it's an easy, easy instrument. Yeah. It would be nice for me to know how to play an instrument, yeah. Yeah. but they have no idea. Like once you get to like some, a point where you're, Oh, you're kind of proficient mm-hmm. at you know just your basic yeah. stuff yeah. and you're confident enough mm-hmm. to interact with other musicians it yeah. opens up possibilities that you haven't even thought of mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and like you i i know you've had experiences or you know like i went up with, with like some oh, yeah. materials yeah or just like interacting with musicians mm-hmm. having mm-hmm. a good time and yeah. connecting over music, music. Mm-hmm. in a way like if you yeah. didn't have this ability it wouldn't it wouldn't yeah. even be a possibility mm-hmm. you know so yeah. i was yeah. just uh, i was just talking and telling these guys about like uh my, my friend herbie who's like a uh a cardist in the cardistry because I've, I've started getting to the cardistry community mm-hmm. so herbie's a guy who makes uh who makes music and uh, he plays ukulele as well so if you guys want to follow him on instagram so herbie but um he's i you know i, I was like i can't um I, I can't do anything or contribute anything to the cardistry community with yeah. my cardistry. Well, you're, you're not yeah. to that point. Yeah, I'm not yeah. at that level and stuff. But, you know, like, uh, cardistry is an art where, like, um, it's, like, video with music with the, uh, you know, um, with, with the cards and stuff. I'm like, mm-hmm. I do music. So, like, why don't I, you know, why don't I do music? So, I hit up uh, Herbie and we kind of started talking. And uh, Herbie makes, like, some pretty cool, like, pretty cool music with Zuquilala and some beats and whatnot. So, I'm like, why don't I... Uh, Create some cool little riffs on my ukulele. I can make some beats with it, and you, we can do cardistry and whatnot. So it's really cool. Like, so if I didn't have music, you know, I wouldn't have made that connection. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't, yeah. you know. So it's it's really cool because like even though I'm like a newbie in this uh, in this community, I can you know I'm trying to contribute as as much as I uh, as much as I can, and it's cool that I get to use like my you know um my kind of music to yeah to, yeah to, when yeah. we we kind of like. Something. <laughs> Sometimes, like, we'll we'll recommend like somebody like, mm-hmm. oh, you might want to try this, or yeah. 
you might want to look at like doing this to get better mm -hmm. and we get sometimes we get the response like oh but why do i want to get better right yeah and it's like it's fine if you want to stay where you are mm -hmm. but there is like there is some great like oppor or it, opportunities but like it, there's great things that happen when you get like better at mm -hmm. music mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it, it is like an experience that there's like a shared experience yeah. when you're like pretty proficient at music mm -hmm. and you can play with other people and yeah. you don't need to like, you know, stop somebody and say like, oh, hey, uh, what what's the chords mm -hmm. or what's the strumming mm -hmm. pattern mm -hmm. or everything? Mm -hmm. That's that's like fine if you do that. Yeah. Like nobody, nobody should in the music mm -hmm. community like tell you like, oh, that's not how you do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like it's there's there's a different feeling when you mm -hmm. can just jump in and play with like other people mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. when you can listen to a song and be like. Oh, I can I think I can understand what is happening in the song yeah. or like I can digest the song and appreciate it even mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so yeah. it's like and, and that level to get there, it's like it's a little bump. Like it is you, you gotta work, you gotta put in work, mm -hmm. but it's not like mm -hmm. something that's insurmountable where it's like I'm yeah. never gonna get there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I mean it's it's pretty cool. So I'm I'm proud of Alan, you know, yeah. reaching the like reaching the, the levels that he's reached because I know he's like um, he started kind of doing like uh, teaching some like workshops and stuff and yeah, too yeah, now you know so it's it's awesome. Yeah. We're really proud of you, Alan. So yeah. Keep <laughs> yeah. up all the good work, man. He he sent me his lackey book, yeah. and I was like I was looking at it That's and so reading cool. through it, like yeah. actually trying to learn from that too. Yeah. Like, yeah. So he was like even helping that cool. me get back. Yeah. I, and I, I love the fact that like, you know, um, because Alan kind of started, you know, from uh, from the beginning and then learned all these, you know, all these things and learned from all these guys. It's like he can kind of see it from those eyes of like somebody who's been there, you know, like mm -hmm. uh, and recently, too. It's not like someone who's been playing for 40 years, like or 30 years or whatever, like um, for, for myself, I've been playing for a long time. And I do get that sometimes where like. I get out of touch yeah, with you know, like with, imagine yeah, with, like, with being a beginner, you yeah, know, and and I, I admit beginner. to that. Yeah, I, I admit to that, you know, that weakness. Like I do, you know, and it's not me. Like like I don't even know what it's like to be, you know, to be <laughs> crappy. And even, like I definitely know what it's like to be crappy. <laughs> but but you know what I mean? Like yeah. um, it's cool because his eyes are still fresh, like from you know from that. But because of all the experience that he's gotten, he's like you know he's gotten to a level like kind of fast. Mm -hmm. So I, I do dig that, like, he still knows what beginners are looking for, what kind of questions they're asking. And, you know, I think someone, you know, someone like that writing a book or, you know, or, uh, or teaching workshops and lessons is, uh, is, is really good. Yeah, so, and helpful to others. Yeah, yeah, too. yeah, yeah. It, it's really telling, too, of Alan's personality. Because yeah. I remember that, like, one of the first interactions mm -hmm. that we had with him, he sent in a student review. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, I think it was the first student yeah. review we ever did. Like, we are like, oh... Our first student review is from <laughs> Alan Fasik, uh -huh. and you watched it, and then we gave feedback on the live oh. lesson. This was like a while ago too, and afterwards we we kind of like, yeah. oh, hopefully Alan takes that okay because yeah, you, I, yeah, yeah, yeah you I, were, I remember that. I kind of ri not ripped the manual, yeah, whatever, but like really like <laughs> just kind of nitpicked, yeah, nitpicked a, a lot, lot of, of the stuff that he could be working on. So instead of me just being like, oh man, that. Sounds pretty good. Keep up the good work. It's like that you're not gonna get better, you know, by yeah. like just me going like pat pat in the back and stuff. Like, you know, I I want you to get better. So it's like, oh, this is a good song, great song. So I always like, um, I, I always uh, say that it. right, in the, yeah, right in, the, right in the beginning. It's like, dude, awesome. Like first off, awesome work because I don't want them to ever feel that like, oh, was it junk then? Because he's saying a lot of stuff that you know that I could make better. It's like, no, it's just. You know, there's a lot of room for like, you know, for for improvement, but not saying that that's like a bad job that you did. So I'm glad, you know, that um that he took it the right way, <laughs> they yeah. took it the right way, and and now he's you know he's writing books and jamming with I, legends and stuff, which is really cool. Yeah, and, and I think that is yeah. like uh, a testament to Alan's personality because yeah. he like we were like ooh like dude we, we were yeah. kind of like oh like let's let's email him make sure yeah, he it's, like he, it's he he doesn't feel. And then he was like, "Oh no, I, I totally love the, mm. oh, the good, honest good. feedback." Yeah. Thing. Mm -hmm. and, and then like criticism. Yeah. yeah, and and he he was like willing to mm. like mm. keep doing student reviews, keep yeah. doing like checkups and asking questions, and mm. so like it seems like Alan Alan just looks at like growing as like mm. he just keeps mm -hmm. going, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he doesn't let like something like 
oh, he, he said I gotta work on all these things. Mm. Like, I, I don't really want to. It's cool. Play it, anymore. It's also cool because like he decided to teach after like get, gaining all, like all this knowledge, and not just like knowledge that he learned himself, but like knowledge from other people. Also, mm-hmm. you know, like he's kind of taking some lessons from me. From uh, you know, he's taking lessons mm-hmm. from like Ota, like Ota Junior. He's taking lessons from like all these like you know all these awesome like slacky artists and whatnot. And then he went you know and then he went to write something or like yeah, or did, did workshops and stuff because he's pretty yeah. good at kind of distilling all of that information yeah too. so it's not like just someone who watched like a bunch of youtube videos like i can do this and then started doing tutorials you know and then like that's <laughs> kind of uh i i'm not a big fan of that only because like uh they might not understand it as well and then they're trying to you know teach whatever may it might be wrong it might be in the uh, you know the the forum might be wrong and it might be like a bad form for like later on for you know some people and kind of spreading bad form is you know I, i'm not i'm not a big fan but Alan did it, you know, correctly. He learned, you know, he learned the right way, and he made sure he learned the right way. You know, like he he asked for criticism, and he, you know, like he wanted to get better. And now he's sharing all the stuff that he's learned, like yeah. from uh, from yeah. all these years. So, really so this cool. is kind of talking like because we make YouTube videos too yeah. for you know for yeah. everybody, but we yeah. also offer feedback, <laughs> and um, you can come and and ask if I'm doing yep. the, the, yeah the yeah right how way. am I doing that, how am yeah. I doing is this okay <laughs> that that was like a cool thing too that mm-hmm. I, I saw on our our U plus forum yeah was like Renee put up that video of her mm-hmm. playing and then like we we told her like oh these are the things that we like and mm-hmm. these are the things you can consider working on mm-hmm. and doing you know but like. She really didn't have too much to actually no, do. No, yeah. But then Mark came in into the forum and he mentioned like, "Oh, I noticed that you use your thumb and your thumb is pointed up a lot. Mm-hmm. You you probably want to move your thumb yeah, where it's to pointed side. towards the yeah. headstock." Mm-hmm. And, and when I read that, I was like, "Dang, we did not catch <laughs> hey, that." We catched that. We that and that. that's like something yeah. that Mark caught. And then yeah. he he like he quoted and he said like, oh, Aldrin taught me this. And then this is a video <laughs> of how Aldrin plays it like this and how you might want to do oh, it too. Yeah. So I guess like, I did a good job with that one. <laughs> oh. So yeah, it's like, it's just, it's it's cool that our like just people pat, that- Pat me. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, like, that that's what we like seeing. It's yeah, just like we do. people kind of, even then, like, uh, mm-hmm. you know, people that, we we might have helped out or done yeah. stuff with before they're now like passing yeah. it on to somebody else too. yeah it's cool i mean at first i was worried about like the private lesson stuff i was like i'm really opening myself up to you know like to uh it's because if i say the wrong things to like somebody like mm-hmm. they were like oh i'm gonna cancel my subscription because i'm is so mean <laughs> you know like because uh if you see me on the screen it's just like oh yeah like that friendly guy you know like he's just teaching me songs and stuff but it's like you're opening yourself up to criticism you know and that's the whole point of the game is me like kind of giving you um you know honest criticism and, and how you can get better you know from there and stuff so i always got got kind of nervous you know doing these uh doing these private lessons They're like oh no did i did I scare that person away? Like <laughs> I, I haven't seen a appointment from that person in like two months now. I <laughs> hope they're okay. You know, yeah. it's it's like one of those. But um, so far so good. I haven't gotten yeah. like so, anything too bad. You know, and like, it's and it's interesting because you kind of notice the people who are willing to take yes, you know, yeah, take the, the constructive mm-hmm. cri- criticism and get better and and do these yeah. private lessons yeah. more often. There's definitely a lot of regulars now. You know, yeah. like that uh, that that sign up for the private lessons and stuff and it's really cool because they're you know at that point they're not really like looking for like oh i need like help with this technique or whatever uh, or this and this and that it's like okay well i'm working on the song now so this is kind of what i have is there anything else that i can kind of do with this so like mm-hmm. that kind of question we're like oh totally you can uh you can add this you can kind of look into this if you want to learn that and watch this video then i can kind of go from there because uh or like how would you play this i'm like i would play it like that and they're like i never even thought of doing it that way so there's like lots of things that we could do with the private lessons so definitely yeah. sign up for you know sign up for those i love seeing people I love seeing their progress and i love helping as many people as possible and this is like the best way because we we help people with like with these videos and whatnot and like and, and answering emails but really like sitting down like one on one with somebody yeah, being and being able like, to see you yeah, and you like being able to see them and what's what's even better is like those instant ones where like I just do a quick fix and they're like and it and it clicks you know something yeah. clicks with them we're like oh now I'm doing the chunk or now I can roll or I can do the triplet or I can do the form beast strum or whatever you know like it's those are like the really cool moments like yeah. in yeah. private lessons that I like yeah. so for for like a lot of beginners 
um if you're kind of kind of scared about like like oh how long will it take for me yeah because like you know alan's been mm -hmm. working at this for a while yes and so and he's gotten mm. he's really gotten to the point mm. where like he can have like a lot of fun yeah, yeah. I think, but i mean as a beginner like if you learn just a little mm. bit mm. you'll have a little bit of fun like yeah. you know <laughs> instantly and then if you learn a little mm. bit more you'll have mm. a little bit more fun yeah. and yeah. so it, it kind of just builds on that mm. um alan just so happened to get to the point where he can have like a ton of fun yeah. now <laughs> like you know it, he can really connect with um musicians on a deep mm. level and I, like have that kind of that that kind of experience i think alan's been like a member it must have been because i've been working here for eight years mm -hmm. so it must have been around eight, eight years, years that he's been mm -hmm. you know or like last set i think we've seen him on mm -hmm. the live lesson mm -hmm. yeah because we didn't immediately start doing live lessons but uh so yeah that's like pretty telling like i mean people might think like that sounds like a lot like eight years but that's super short in musician yeah. like yeah yes. can yes. you imagine when you think about yeah. it yeah. can you can you imagine an eight-year-old kid playing slack key mm. guitar like as good as alan there <laughs> are but like you know that that is like how far alan's come it's mm -hmm. like amazing yeah i was uh speak speaking of that like eight years is not that long i was thinking i was thinking about it because my birthday is next week and i was like how am i how old am i gonna be and i'm like 18 next year 18 years old was 18 years ago <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh yeah like that's insane because i always kind of like look i look back fond it like my uh you know my 18 to like, like to 30 or, or like 25 18 to 25 like those uh or 26 even those years being on oahu and like kind of doing music and whatnot mm -hmm. was like really cool because so thinking back about it I was like how long ago was that and and uh, it just hit me that next year it's gonna be 18 years since 18. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! And, uh, yeah. and the thing is, I played music uh, way before that, so I was like, it's playing, you know, playing music-wise. I've, I've been playing for a long time. Yeah. And it well, just I mean, next, seem, it next year is 2020, which is the future, and everything should be in, <laughs> in chrome and like that, flashing, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> flashing lights, and we have Jetsons cars. So. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's 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 insane like looking at it that way like i put things in uh, perspective of like that's who yeah here's to another 18 more years yeah. <laughs> and I, then beyond that well like uh we did a q a too and uh -huh. somebody asked like oh how long have you been playing i've been playing for six years yeah and you're like oh i've been playing for 20 years 20 <laughs> yeah. plus years yeah and then they're like oh that's a long time <laughs> yeah. so I, I think people are always surprised when you yeah. tell them like oh i've been playing for 20 years how how old is fourth grade? That's Aaron. Do you know? Do you know how old? Hmm? Uh, so generally, it's nine 10? or ten. Ten, nine or ten. ten. Yeah. So nine. I've been playing ukulele for twenty-four years. <laughs> twenty-four mm -hmm. years. I started when I was ten, and that's twenty-four years is a long time. Twenty-four yeah. years. Whew, man! I need to sit down. <laughs> this, this old man back is starting to hurt. <laughs> oh, what what would you tell somebody oh. who um is scared to to book a private lesson? Um I you know, I I'd tell them to go check out the Thursday um the one-on-one -on -one coaching that we do on Thursdays. It's basically that. And um and that you don't have to participate right away. Like you can just watch other people like do the one-on-one. -on -one. So you can come into the one-on-one -on -one classroom um and and watch everybody like do their do their questions or or get you know like get criticism and whatnot and that'll give you an idea of what uh the private lesson uh, yeah. really is so so one-on-one -on -one coaching is like a separate thing it's kind of like a conference call yeah with a bunch of people yeah kind, kind of conference one, room basically yeah and one person at a time you know i'll, I'll help them one-on-one -on -one. so for example if there's like five people in you know in the uh in, in the conference room so whoever was there first you know just do honor system they'll uh, they'll come on and I'll be like, hey, how can I help you and stuff? It's like, oh, um, I'm working on this song and I, you know, I kind of wanted some ideas on this. And then I'll yeah. give them some ideas on that. Or like, I've been working on my chunk. I can't quite get my chunk. I'm like, okay, cool. Let's, let's, uh, let's work yeah. on your chunk. And so you can yeah. be in the room and not ask and not, a question. Yeah, not ask questions, not, not even show your face or whatever. If, you know, yeah. if, you're, uh, if you're ashamed about that and stuff, like that's really cool. You can just kind of kick back and listen to other people because you might, you never know, you might have the same question. That's why I always just kind of encourage people to come to it anyway, regardless if mm -hmm. you want to. Uh, if you want to do it or not kind of like this podcast you know like it's kind of like this exactly like this where we're just kind of talking and stuff mm -hmm. you on 
the last uh one on one yeah like i was m- helping mod that yeah, yeah. uh so i i got to watch it mm-hmm. and you somebody asked about triplet drums and yeah, like yeah. for you to break down triplet drums yeah but the funny thing is when you were doing that you could see everybody else was also they try, practicing they try triplets. Triplets. Yeah. 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 So that's yeah. just like something you get ideas and, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you can just come and you can just, learn some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like without even coming with a question or mm-hmm, yourself mm-hmm, and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I, I think people stop themselves from joining one on one or private lesson because mm-hmm. they feel like, oh, I need to have something to work on before yeah. I contact you or like some yeah. kind of question or something that I need improvement. Yeah. But uh, you also help out people by like telling them like, oh, let me give you suggestions on like mm-hmm. a song you might want to try next yeah. or yeah, something yeah. too. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah. so you can see if that. you don't have a question. Yeah. So that's um, that's my best advice is to check that out first. Feel you know, get a feel for it and stuff, and get comfortable and whatnot. And uh, when you finally do sign up for your private lesson, it's basically exactly that, but just me and you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. the only difference. It's like no one else is watching, so it's private. But uh, the one-on-one coaching, it's it's like. We're, we're a team you're showing up to practice you know like this <laughs> yeah, person needs yeah. help with this that person needs help with that that person needs help with this and i'm kind of showing but the whole team is watching so we're I, like a team <laughs> yeah and, and everybody is like yeah. super supportive yeah, too. So yeah, it's, yeah, yeah there's no like mm, yeah it, it's a really nice space yeah and, and like uh with one if people are like uh, afraid of private lessons too mm-hmm. They they can really like I've heard pe- you help people where you they just go in and then they're like oh I don't really know like mm-hmm. what I should work on or something and yeah. you just tell them like oh play play a song that yep. you really like or yeah. you, that you're comfortable playing uh, play a song that um that that you play all the time and play a song that you're currently working on yeah. so like those two think, things or even yeah. like chords that you're working yeah. on yeah yeah exactly like that's that's is, basically yeah. what I what I ask people so that I can see where they're comfortable and I can see where they're uncomfortable so mm-hmm. I can kind of like uh from that i can tell their strengths and their weaknesses and we can work from there yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, you really you don't need a lot to do private lessons mm-hmm. you don't no. and you don't need to you don't even be, need questions you can just be like oh just let me know tell me how i'm doing you know like, yeah, that's it yeah. yeah you don't need to be advanced or anything mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. probably like the sooner that you get into a private lesson the better your yeah. overall like path yeah because be. we can start like kind of a you know like a regimen like for you so it's mm-hmm. like here's uh here's something that you can start working on and then i'll see you in two weeks and then you see me in two weeks like okay cool that's uh that's coming along great maybe start working on these so on and so forth and then that's kind of uh it, it's cool that way because I know there's not like a linear path to ukulele, you know, especially with, you know, with uh, with so much different styles and so much different things. Um, I get kind of a feel of what you want and what you, you know, want to work on, what you want to be. And then I can kind of show you like how to get there. So that's mm-hmm. one way to uh, to kind of combat that like non- <laughs> non-linear path. I can kind of set you on a path. Yeah. Okay. Well, All right. Speaking. Uh, yeah, uh, and, uh, yeah. Speaking of which, <laughs> it, that one-on-one coaching is six minutes away, so uh, we <laughs> are gonna get out of here so we can get ready for that. We'll see you folks there at the one-on-one coaching. Uh, if not, I'll see you folks tomorrow for the uh, Aloha Friday Live Jam and uh, book a private lesson if you want to see me, uh, you know, privately and work on some stuff together. All right. Thank you so much. Congratulations to Kavai uh, once again. Here is the uh, the songwriting challenge. Just so that you can get, you guys can kind of take a screenshot yeah. or whatever. I'll, I'll post know? it to the forum too. Okay, cool. Yeah. Anything else we can add? Um, check out uh, Monday. A new lesson comes out. Yeah, Monday so. a new lesson comes out. We're excited about this one. So make sure you check that out. All right, guys. Uh, see you next time. Aloha. <laughs>